Hey YouTubers, it's Brent from Upper Corner Hockey. You guys all saw the unboxing video where it was pretty much like an endless supply of awesome hockey fan gear. Um, I'm a Devils fan, you know, hate me or not. <laughs> but whatever, they have every single um, NHL team. So uh, the stuff was sent from Fan Fever. I'll uh, put all the links in the description, of course. Um, but I figured it's about time to uh, unbox some of this stuff and start to use it. So uh, got my uh, trusty Swiss Army knife. One of these days, I'm going to give you guys a story behind this. But right now, who cares? <laughs> so uh, it's got a tape there. Cut away. See, yes, I stopped myself. And uh, let's see what this unboxing unveils. All right. I've never opened this before, so you guys are all seeing it for the same time. So if I make mistakes, <laughs> it's live. So, uh, all right. First, it comes with the uh, bunch of NHL stickers. It's got all the teams. Register to win. Oh, I like that. I like to win. Eligible for a monthly giveaway. Ooh, wait a minute. I just purchased this and I get a giveaway for a goal light. All right, well, we'll work it. We're, you know what? Let's open it up. It's an unboxing video, so let's check it out. Go to the coast. <laughs> Sorry, that was from uh, Dumbbird. So, um, anyway, let's open this thing up. A little clip of the uh, plastic slide all this stuff out just so you guys know LDPE is low density polyethylene I worked 16 years in plastics that's why I know that nobody cares just recycle so anyway you got a bunch of stickers a lot of stickers this thing I can tell this thing's already gonna open up yeah and that's it and we got all the stickers there so you got every single team imaginable. So I would assume you're going to put these on your goal light. Assume. All right. Um, here's instructions that are also included. Let's see if it opens up any bigger. It does. I'm sure it's French Canadian and in English. So, we'll figure it out. We don't need instructions. Get the crap out of here. So, anyway, and also you're registered to win. So, if you bought it, go to the goal light. I'm sure you guys are all going to go there and register to win now. Because I just gave you the secret ticket. The golden ticket. So, anyway. Um, on top, oh, it's a little puck remote which this again I'm unboxing this from the top not the bottom so the first thing you'll see is your little goal light remote so when you're sitting in your lazy boy or if you're bougie you got a sharper image massage chair so, <laughs> so anyway um, that's that I would assume it needs batteries but what do I know we're going to figure that out as we go along. Uh, piece of plastic here. Packaged well. Something just fell. So now i got to go pick it up. Oh, yes, every time I pick stuff up, it hurts. Because we play hockey, we get in pain. So anyway, piece of plastic. Don't need it. These screws, they look like wall anchor mounts. And screws, so I would assume you could mount this to the wall. So we'll save these, we won't throw this to the side. And here it is key the hallelujah music. Oh, and there it is. There's your goal light. It's purdy. It's, uh, it's a plastic cage, it's not metal. Just so you guys know. It's just for looks. It looks great. I, I, 
I see it spins. Yep, yeah, it does. It spins. And uh, there are the lights. There it is. So this part, this part screws on top of that boat. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. So I don't know why we would need to. I don't think we would replace any of these bulbs. But hey, it is what it is. I'm showing you guys every single detail possible. First of all, this thing does not come with the DC adapter, which somehow I got the DC adapter, but I misplaced it. This must be the wall mount because there's nothing left in the box other than plastic. So the box goes right there. So this must be like a sort of a wall mount. I'll look into it. You probably, I think you wall mount it. I got it, I got it, I figured it out already. You wall mount it through here with the screws. If it's sheetrock, <coughs> you're gonna wanna use these anchors. Pre-drill, of course, small holes. Tap them in with a hammer. And uh, then mount this to the wall. And then this clips see clips right there you heard that can you see it yeah you can see it. there you go clips right there and then it turns and then it locks so you won't have it sitting like this you'll have it actually sitting like this on your wall so very cool I think that's the way I am gonna mount it so I'm gonna mount it later. I'll do a mounting instruction. <laughs> that sounded weird. Um, later on, uh, but right now let's concentrate on getting this to work. Uh, all right, I'm going to grab. This does not come with it as I'm tripping all over the place. This does not come with it. You have to buy this separate. I don't know if this is worth buying or not. Um, it looks like you can add batteries, which is, again, this is all, we're all going at this together here. Um, it's a flathead screw. So I have that tool, see, see, it's flat, flat. Um, you can just use batteries. I'm sure batteries would work perfectly fine. Because if you're mounting this over your television, chances are you probably don't have room for a DC adapter. But just so you know, this cut this this is separate, so you gotta pay for this separate. But we're not gonna use this now. I'm just gonna put this to the side. Just so you know, that's an option. You never know, you might have an extra plug because you're a master electrician and you think of things like this ahead of time. Don't worry, I have a friend that's a master electrician and he thinks of these things electric uh, ahead of time. So, all right, still trying to fumble with this. Again, this is Fan Fever. Links are in the bottom description. This is all real time. So hopefully you're on the adventure with me and dealing with this for the first time as I am. Probably should have gotten a screwdriver, but this thing works pretty well. Obviously I'm, it, the, the, <laughs> the plastic nut, it's not a screw. The plastic nut is huge. So you can get a pretty damn big, big screwdriver for something like this. Did I just say damn? I'm sorry. Well, after a while you can just use your fingers. But I can't wait to hook this thing up. The unfortunate part is my team scores passed 8.30, my kids are asleep, and I won't be able to 
click this uh, remote for the score. All right, I finally got it. It's a plastic screw with a huge, look at that. It's a huge flathead screw. So, I mean, you can get, all right, it looks like double A. So let me go get some double A batteries. They'll all slide down. So, don't nobody go nowhere. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I had a pack of these with only three in it. I need four. So, of course, I'm opening up another one of these. So, after Hurricane Sandy, I'm always prepared with batteries. So, uh, you never know. Hurricane Sandy hit New Jersey hard. I don't know, blah, 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 blah. So, uh, let me open these uh, batteries real quick. Snag four. Two, three. Four. In no sense, I am sponsoring Energizer. Um, doesn't matter. Duracell, Energizer, any of these, Rayvac, doesn't matter. Whatever works. So. Grab these, so you want to go negative, which is, just so you know, that's the negative part. Negative. Negative. Oh, I did it wrong. Negative, <laughs> ne I think it's negative down. So negative down, positive up. I'm hoping. Oh, uh, so negative down, and then pause. No, yeah, no negative. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm confused. All right, this is turned into comedy. So I'm I'm guessing it's negative. When it says negative, you put the negative down. When it's positive, you put the positive down. I'm guessing. Let's see if this works. Of course. I'm making a fool out of myself, but hey, this was kind of what we thought would happen due to the fact that I've never done this before. And no, no, because I can see it now, it's wrong. It's wrong. All right, it's wrong because when you see springs, the springs usually go on the negative part. So this means, look at this, I'm, I'm hooking you guys up. I'm making a total fool out of myself to uh, help help you guys out. So negative would be, it's negative up, negative, negative, positive, can you guys see that? Positive, because when you go to uh, hook this thing back up, the springs will sit tightly Yep, look at that, perfect. And then again, you grab your, nope, not the can opener. This is the screwdriver. Maybe I'll fast forward this up, uh, because I'm sure I'm, I'm losing y'all. But you gotta kinda keep your thumb here. You gotta keep your thumb here, because this thing springs up. And fast forward this part. All right, so we're back. <clears throat> I noticed if you do get the DC part, there's a little rubber, little rubber stopper here, um, which will be removed. It's right here. It says DC, which is right next to where the screw is for the batteries. I'm telling you, the batteries are probably perfectly fine. Um, but anyway. Um, let, let's see what else we got. Oh, no, the DC's... No, you don't have to remove this rubber thing. The DC's right here. Oh, you see that? The DC's on the side, so when I guess you plug it in, you can run, run a cord there. So, uh... Let's check out what else we got, because I'm not reading any instructions. So it says, off, light, and sound. So you can do a light. So you see that? So right here, all the way to the left, is off. You can do right in the middle, it's just the light only. 
and then you can do all the way to the right, light and sound. So when your kids go to sleep, you can screw this thing off the wall, boop, put the light, hit your, uh, your little remote, which probably needs batteries, which we're going to hit that up next. But let's, let's turn it off for now and see what we got. This one is a tiny, tiny screw, and I don't feel like running around getting a screwdriver. So let's, man, I hope you guys grabbed your popcorn for this, because this thing is long. So uh, hopefully this isn't a AAA, because if it's a AAA, I'm pausing the damn video. And it looks like a AAA. So here comes the pause. <laughs> pause now. Okay, I'm back. You don't know what I had to do to get these two AAA batteries, but that's what you're going to need. You don't need this knife open. Close that. You are going to need two AAA batteries for your Goal Light remote. Technically, radio control. So uh, obviously, the negative always goes near the spring. So this, that, close her up. Hope you guys are enjoying this because it's a lot more work than I thought it would be, but I'm sure it's totally worth it. But you guys will all get an understanding of what it takes to put one of these things together. It's really not that bad. It would have been cool if the batteries were included, but hey. People got to make a profit, and I'm sure you don't. Honestly, I, I, I don't know. I, I'm always mixed emotions on things like that because the product doesn't sell. Like, say, I'm loosening it up so I can get it in. I'm not. I'm not getting this in the hole. Okay, let's see if we can get this one in there. Oh, I got it. So you gotta kind of press a little bit up, press a little, little bit up, and then it'll slide right in. But uh, you know what? Like you buy some of these things, if if they don't sell and they're sitting for a while, the, the batteries will probably corrode. So, all right, wife, kids, everybody's asleep. So let's try the light first. Here we go. There's just the light. Pretty cool. Now, you gotta remember, most of you will have this in your room where it'll just be regular lights. I have, you know, two, you know, 650 watt <laughs> lights shining in this direction. So it's a little strong. So you can understand that it's not that bright. Now let's try it with the horn and I'm sure I'm going to get in trouble. I wonder where the stickers go. Again, thing looks great. It's very cool. Uh, this is not metal, it's plastic. Just so you know, it's plastic, which is fine. Keeps the price down. There's the speaker. I don't know if you can get a good look at that. There you go. There's the speaker. If it's facing against the wall, facing down, whatever. It's got little rubber mounts. Let's try this. And supposedly you can uh, change it to your team. All right, I, I see it. All right, I just figured it out. Wow, good thing we stopped there. You can change the horn to your team. Right here is the dials. So I'm going to change it to my Devils, which is 35. Three. I know, you are all pissed. I am a Devil. <laughs> but anyway, um, I can't. Don't I don't ever expect to please everybody. I mean, we got friggin' all those teams. You can't expect uh, everybody to be happy. But uh, if you guys want, post below. Tell me a video, and I will go through every single um, goal horn. So right now I got the Devils. It's at thirty-five. Uh, who's number one? Uh, nobody's number one. They were smart. 
they went they started at 11 which is the ducks which is very smart don't ever start at number one so let me move this out of the way this is your wall mount and your brackets and here we go can almost hear the you suck chant right now so what I'm gonna do for you guys I'm gonna kill the lights and I'll show you guys what this thing looks like lit up because it looks pretty bright I'm pretty positive this thing will light up the whole room so you got your remote you hit your button so here we go lights are off the things I do for you guys <laughs> get in trouble oh all right, lights are pretty dim. I still have the uh, external lights on, um, but the regular lights are off. So here we go. Pretty cool, pretty cool, I gotta say. Uh, if you guys want, one more time, I'll kill all the lights. All right, hold on. Well, now you can't see anything, which, you know, when you're watching television, you know what? It's kind of nice to uh, have low lights. It's kind of like a movie theater. So you're watching the game, you got blue lights, which is a color temperature that'll blow out the thing. And here we go. Your team scores and... very cool all right lights are back on gonna finish up this wrap up so if you guys I just literally showed you the unboxing and how to set this thing up it's that easy um, this takes triple-a batteries this takes double-a batteries if you want and you're smart and you have a room behind your television because I totally am hooking this thing up behind my television you might want to pay the little extra money for the uh, the adapter so you don't have to worry about changing out batteries. But this, honestly, you may not need it because this, this little wall adapter is pretty cool. It just hooks on, turns. So um, it's up to you. I'm giving you every option possible. It gives you the stickers. Again, I really don't know where, where you're gonna place the stickers. Really doesn't need the stickers. I still don't see where the stickers would go. I mean, really, you don't need the stickers if you got the goal light. Uh, you got the sounds. So it's got every single team, and I showed you. It shows you how to change it, and your DC power would be going right here, which would be this thing. So uh, I hope this helped, guys. I mean, it's really cool. I mean, it's. I can't wait to hook this thing up. I'm going to show you guys. Um, the finished product soon i still gotta paint a little wife's been nagging me for that so but hey what else is new so anyway it's brent from our corner hockey if you want to buy this thing it'll be in the description below and any information that i said along the lines will be in the description so again triple a batteries here they don't come included double a four double a batteries come here this is two triple a's so and if you buy this you don't need batteries for this, but you'll still need two triple A's for this. So, seems like a goal. Have a good one, guys. It's Brent from Upper Corner Hockey. Peace.